Oh, man. All right, full spoilers for the latest Predator film, Prey. Yes. Dan Trachtenberg's, only Dan Trachtenberg's second feature film after 10 Cloverfield Lane. Too little, if you ask me. Big TV director, though. Uh, he's directed like one episode of three shows. That's big in my book. Because <laughs> um, uh, I looked up his IMDb and I was like, surely he's done more. But no. It takes his time. Um, he did direct one episode of The Boys two seasons ago, I think. Um, anyway. Prey, what do we think about Prey? Real yeah, quick, no. before you answer, oh. I want to know one thing from everyone. What language track did you watch? You know which one I picked, Sparks. You know the real deal. I do know which one you picked. Ben? English. Okay, Brandon? English. Okay, cool. Ryan and I watched Comanche. So okay. I just wanted that in our brains going forward for the discussion. Um, go ahead. But what do we think about it? Uh, I think it's incredible. I had a great time. Right. I think this is this is uh, easily the best Predator movie. Ben, I really enjoyed it. I just wish I wasn't jet lagged when I was watching it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, it's okay. Stop it! Oh, I, I saw your letterbox. <laughs> Did you really? <laughs> yeah, I've seen your letterbox. I know what yeah. you thought. Uh, no, it's it's the it's it it's my favorite Predator movie. Uh, it surpasses Predators. Um, mm-hmm. This is. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is the movie I, I needed it to be. Um, because you guys watch it in English, I have a question for you. Uh, did did they translate the French for no. you? Okay, no. so they just uh, let no. that. Great. They don't translate it for us either. That's so all I, figured happens, they, I figured they wouldn't. So what happens is in the Comanche dub, um, you obviously are hearing the, the Comanche voice actors, and then the French, uh, because like you're getting the translation subtext, subtitles for the Comanche, you just get the French. Like you're yeah. just seeing French on the bottom of the screen when the French are talking, which I'm like, it made me really happy. There is no right or wrong way to watch this movie. It made me really happy to have chosen the Comanche because it made me feel completely in the element of it. I yeah. was only hearing languages I didn't understand, which made me feel completely in the period piece of it. Um, well, so what's interesting about that is I felt much the same way. Um, you know, cause I'm, I'm always of the, like the, 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 the way my head works is if I'm watching a film set in a different time period with a different language and they're speaking English, my brain just says, oh, I'm just hearing the translation. Sure. Yeah. I've got like a universal translator in my head and I'm just hearing it. So like what I really, so, so for me, I had very much the same, uh, the same experience because when he's speaking French, I can understand Naru, but I can't understand the Frenchman. And that's, right. the, that's what you're supposed to feel. You're supposed to feel alienated by this people because it's a language that you can't understand. I'm really glad of that, which is why I asked specifically if you guys had it, tra- if it was translated for you, because yeah. that was going to bum me out if it, if it was, but I'm glad that you're just not supposed to, unless you understand French, you're not supposed to understand them. Um, I took, I took two years of French in high school and I had no clue what they were saying. Yeah. There is a single line of English in the movie and a Frenchman says, you son of a bitch. And I thought yeah. that was, there, there are multiple, this, this is maybe one of the best ways of them incorporating like catchphrases and stuff from yes. the other movies. They feel so natural. They never feel out of place. Like I'm not yeah. going, Oh, it's the thing. I'm like, Oh damn, that was pretty slow. There's clever. only, there's only one kind of Leo DiCaprio point of the TV moment that I had. Uh-huh. Um, and, and for the most part, I never caught any of the reference dialogue except for if it bleeds, we can kill it. Uh, come Which on, feels, come on, do it now at the end is, is straight. It feels, on. it feels sure. so natural the way that they did the if it's bleeding because they don't even say the exact same words which i really yeah. appreciated yeah um but so like, like, the, the, that's what I'm, that's what i'm talking about like i i know that they had the reference dialogue a lot of it um it's but the fact that it felt so natural and it didn't feel like it, they were pointing it they were pointing a finger at look this is the reference dialogue yes i never caught it until after it happened it yeah. made it made complete sense for that to be their logic that like this is something we've never seen before but it's bleeding that means we can kill it. And like that, that, that felt completely, oh God, it, it played so well. Um, I truly encourage if you are going to watch pray again, give the Comanche dub a, a, a go. Um, it's awesome. I think it's, I think it's wonderful that they made it. I wish the film had frankly just been made that way. Yeah. Um, but it's, but the fact that they made the dub track, we talked about it before, but I'll talk about it here just in case nobody heard us talk about when they announced that they were releasing the Comanche dub. Um, very few films ever get Native American dub tracks. Um, it's a handful. And the fact that this one got one and that the actors all got to come and do it themselves is 
really rare and very special. I'm really glad they did it and props to them for, for doing it. I think the actors do a great job of bringing their uh, emotions to the table in the Comanche dub as well. Oh yeah. Um, <clears throat> really excited about it. That's, that's all I really want to highlight about that specifically. I highly encourage if you have the opportunity to check it out that way to do so. This so, movie is, it, it's, it is so, first of all, it's really smart and it's so expertly crafted because it's tight and knows exactly what it is. I think this has some of the, I think this might have like the strongest opening of a movie in a while. Simply so because, good. just because it gives you everything you need to know about your character within five minutes. You, yeah. see, you see how, how, how good she is at combat. She's training. You see that she's an animal lover. She's a great person. You see, she's a family woman. You also see that she's an incredible tracker. So we're, they give us all of this information within like five, 10 minutes. And then the rest of the movie is you're with the character. You like, and, it's just it was so smart and it's so and, and that's, just that's where the film feels like an old an older film right because that's also the 80s film that's also predator yeah like there's a lot of films we know everything we need to know about indiana jones in the first five minutes of that in that movie we yes. know everything we need to know about dutch in the first five minutes of that movie and that's that's how those movies were built nowadays we have much longer experience much longer journeys with movie with characters and like you know that has its place but like it, it felt like a film it felt like a predator movie, yeah. right? It didn't feel like a, it, it felt at, at times a movie that a predator was dropped into and a predator movie. Yeah. yeah. And I think that's where it's, it's, it's very much, lies. very much in a similar way to his last movie. where like, it, it, it kind of stands alone before it becomes the genre thing. And mm -hmm. that's, that's what's important about these types of movies is like, it, it's a genre mashup, but like the movie has got to be good first before the genre comes in. Otherwise I'm not yeah. going to care that you're killing these people. I think that's why I think that's why the pre the predator fails, mm -hmm. in, in in some ways the predator fails because it's it starts as a predator movie. It is a movie about the predator coming to Earth. We open mm -hmm. up with an action scene of two predator ships firing on each other. Yeah, right. Um, and then from then on, we but we don't get that at any other predator movie, including Predators, because for the most for most of Predators, you're just trying to figure out what the hell's going on, where these characters are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, I think they do. I go ahead if you add more to that thought. Oh, I want to talk about the writer real quickly, but if you have something else. Sure. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Okay. So the writer is called Patrick Asen. Um, and I thought this guy was really interesting. Um, and I was, I, I love Am Amber Midthunder in, in this movie, but She's I so always good. felt like, I always felt like she was an interesting choice because the only mm -hmm. thing I, I recognize her from is from Legion, mm -hmm. um, which I really like her in this, this writer was a consultant on Legion where I assume they met. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Since then, this guy did not, was not a film writer. He has only been a producer on Treadstone, Tom Clancy's Jack Ryan, and Kingdom, where he wrote one episode of each show. Amazon, man. And then he wrote Predator. That's his first feature. And I think this is a hell of a debut feature. Not Prey. Prey. Prey, Prey, Prey sorry. Yeah, I think no, this yeah. is a hell of a debut feature. It feels like he, he like, he's, he's, he, I always wanted to write something, and this was, he gave it a shot, and it worked. It worked. Yeah. I, I really love how compact this movie is mm -hmm. it doesn't drag it does not once does it drag there's always something going on um i love how um naru like i love how she becomes she embraces her inner scorpion with the with the axe and the and the leash or the the tug wicked i wicked. love i love that weapon so I much i love it too but also i just love how the predator for still we only get back shots of the predator in the beginning of the film we only get see him within the cloak we only see the predator we don't see like the predator's face or even with the mask on until i don't know like halfway through the movie give or take just about yeah yeah and then we don't see the actual face of the predator until close to the end of the third until the third act and i just love how the i still i don't really see this as a horror movie but i do see this as a thriller because you're constantly wondering, like, who's the predator going to get? How are they going? How are they going well, to fight? Importantly, fight back against the predator. How? How is this going to Importantly, Ben. Importantly, Ben. We talked about this before when I when when we talked about like how AVP succeeds where um, Predator versus Jason doesn't. The predator works in an action horror setting always. Mm -hmm. Every single one of their uh, of the successful films are action horror films, um, and this is no different. This has horror elements. In fact, in some places, it's pretty scary in the beginning. Um, I thought so anyway, because there's a giant snake. Um, and, and see, 
I, no. I just want to piggyback off that because I, I, I kind of agree with Ben. I think like this film succeeded by not chasing the horror elements. Yeah. Um, thriller. Ben is correct. I think that this is much more action thriller. Um, it, it makes it, it feels much more grounded into like, uh, while the predator is mysterious, while the predator is advanced in a way, um, it never feels like completely supernatural beyond because yeah. it's always incrementally upping its game of yes. hunting them. Um, it's very well done in the sense of like, what does it, the snake goes to strike. It does a speed strike to take out the snake. It wrestles with uh, its prey that it's chasing. It only goes to projectile after arrows have been brought out by the matches, by the mm -hmm. Comanches. It only matches up to what its prey is doing. Uh, and I think that makes it feel much more like uh, primal in a sense. And it makes it feel much yeah. more in that thriller vein rather than like um, the completely outmatch level that, that uh, the, the original, the predator necessarily has with its horror elements of how it's, how it's stalking and it's mm -hmm. power set. You've got, you brought up an interesting point. I wanted to, I wanted to kind of like circle around, which is um, the predator, uh, the predator attacking different species. It, it's such an interesting shorthand because we know from ancillary material, the interactive birds like, oh, what if this was the first time the predators came to Earth? Mm -hmm. um, you know, but the film shows you that that is potentially what's happening here because yes. it's not immediately going after people. It's finding the stronger predators mm -hmm. on the planet each time. I yeah. love the introduction scene is is brilliant because it show, it's the circle of life, baby. It starts with an ant. Yeah. And then it goes to a and then it goes to a little mouse. Then it goes to a snake. And then he's like, "All right, snake's clearly the biggest thing around here. I'm gonna kill the snake." And then he sees there's a wolf. And then he sees there's a bear. And then he sees there's a human. And then he yeah. sees there's a lot of humans. And he's he. What I love about this movie is like I thought this movie was going to be way less predator centric. I honestly thought like in lower budget movie, the predator would be in like a third of the movie. The predator is in this movie a lot. Way more way more action than I expected. I have never been more happy to see a bunch of white people show up because I knew they were gonna die. <laughs> because <laughs> i was like low body count for this movie but i'm not mad about it then the french showed up i'm like oh they're all getting massacred the predator uh gets uh, i want to say two things real quick to what you just said that scene taking out all the frenchmen i'm like this is the this is the no man's land wonder woman scene for i the thought it too it incredible <laughs> um, yeah so good okay but i want to say i think this is this film has the best utilization of the invisibility tech mm -hmm. uh for the predator i think it uses it the best um as as uh as for hiding it and for visual storytelling and it's the, not as advanced about, the scene you just talked about with the ant the as ben alluded to the eventual reveal scene of its face uh not its full but like with the with the helmet on um and it's still mostly like that is that is like the closest well, the i think blood, to like the blood uh, pouring down from the bear. That's really good too. Yes. But yeah. the, the um, first time they really see the predator, the Comanches really see the predator and that it's still mostly invisible. It's just like it's top parts are coming through and it roars at them. Um, so good. That is like, uh, while it doesn't like scare me, it's like, it, it is horrifying for them. Yeah. What mm -hmm. they are seeing happen before them, I think is so cool. That bear scene. You're also right. It's great use of the invisibility, the way it, it drenches down. I think it's so good. I wanted to bring up because we keep talking about the invisibility of it, but I love that the predator's invisibility has always just kind of been shit. Like it's just always, ne it's just never been good in the I past. Love, it was, it was worse, but it's never quite good. And like, I, yeah. there's, there's, there's like stuff in like the predator too, that I really like where it's like Donald Glover, like, because you can see the predator if you're like looking at, right at it and it's yeah. moving, you can see the predator uh, even in the future. And like Donald Glover has this thing where he sees the corner of his eye and he like points the gun at the predator and the predator's just going like, <laughs> did he see me who me <laughs> and so like i always i always just kind of appreciate that it's, it's this long-running issue in the films that the predator's cloaking is just terrible i love the the i was gonna say evolution but it's honest it's de-evolution of the tech because he has me all too. the same he has all the same tech it's just again it's not as good as it yeah. as it's it was kind of already shitty and it just kind of got even shittier <laughs> uh i loved I was so surprised and pleased when the three the three dot laser is barbs instead of a cannon. Yeah, uh, I thought that was such a good like de escalation of the technology, but like still still like lethal to the tracking yeah. tracking shot, and then it's a and then it's a loop around to the ending, which like I. And you got 
I didn't even see it coming. When you saw when you had the three lasers and like one drifts down, <laughs> I went. And I was what? like, wait, what? <laughs> and it's so it's really cool because if you're like in Predator lore, and like if you're if you're like me, who's just like, I, yum 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 yum, give me the yaucha, yaucha. give me the yaucha lore. It, it kind of like creates an origin for why it's three lines. Yes, it, it was. It's because it could aim in different spots, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and that that's I think really. Yeah. That's a really logical way to de-escalate that that weapon. I um, love how the prayer's main, like the, the lethal because I was expecting I was thinking it's like they're not gonna introduce like laser cannons, right? Because like an AVP where you get the arm the arm the shoulder cannon. Yeah. I'm glad that it's still like this is three hundred years before or like yeah, three hundred years before the first first predator film. Sure. Yeah. And we get to see the, this predator use a projectile weapon, but it's still a scientific projectile weapon, but it still fits 300 years. It's a years gravity ahead. crossbow, basically. Essentially. And yeah, it, and, it, and, and, it, and it works because it's like, it, it works because if you're if you're se- if you're sending something back 300 years, and this is a this is a creature that we know updates its technology to become a much better hunter every single time, and so like, it makes sense that 300 years ago. It wouldn't have had the same technology. It has some of the staples, like it can still see infrared and still cloak. Um, but most of the time, it, it that technology would have been progressive over time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so you you can't bring it back down to you can't bring it back down to where it has no projectile weapons because then that jump is too far. Yeah. So it has to have a lesser projectile weapon. I love that. Like he's not wearing much armor. And then he gets messed, messed. It's he's tough, but he gets messed up in this movie by yeah. a lot of different things. I he really gets like bitten, the shield, scratched, attacked, uh, 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 shot. Uh, so many different things, and like this is like like the most like emotional a predator has ever been in a movie. Like I feel like there's one point specifically where he's just so full of these people's shit. He kills someone and he just like screams at him, and I'm like. I've never seen that in a Predator movie, I don't think. Where, like, he, like, yells at someone he just killed because he's so mad about it. And I'm like, there's, this is awesome! There's some excellent action sequences. We talked about, like, the Nomad sequence. Every single one of those kills is brilliant. There's a bit with the bear trap where I was like, what's he got on his arm? And he just, he throws the bear trap over, uh, uh, on the tree to, like, spin it, grabs it, and throws it at the guy to cut his head. I was like, oh, damn! I, I thought the bear traps were... I thought at first it was weird because there was the bear traps. And I'm like, I don't know if the predators would make just human looking bear traps, but I accepted it for how it was. Yeah. Then the French came in. I'm like, oh, this movie just got better. I yeah. can't. How does it keep it, doing it? Yes, yes. I thought they did a good job with the tee up of the bear trap early mm-hmm. on, too. And uh, when when she gets caught in it, the predator comes up to her and he's like, this isn't how I want to catch you. This is bullshit. <laughs> like, yeah. Fucking, so good. Um, the tall his, grass. His the code. tall grass just massacring her friend. <laughs> Just the blood just spattering. Oh, everywhere. yeah. <laughs> the mist. Oh, um, boy. Uh, the I want to praise the sound design. I think the sound yeah. design for Predator is super good because they didn't just use the old sounds. They made new versions mm-hmm. of the sound. So it's still the iconic clicking, but it's different. It's not the same. It's a different sound. The roar is different. It's not it's like the it's same like sound. Yaucha's like meaner cousin showed up or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they gave it its own personality and its own sound design rather than just rehashing the sound effects. I thought that was this a really also- cool move. This is also such a drastically mm. different look for the Predator, while still also being in the, uh, a design uh, influence of it. Because the mandibles no longer go over the mouth, they're on its side always. Yeah. Um, and the mouth is much wider than we've seen before. Mm-hmm. And it's so interesting to see, like, I like the design a lot. Um, I just want to say that. But it, it is interesting how how drastically different the design we, to what we, what we know as the Jungle Hunter 300 yeah. years from now is. We've seen and we've seen them doing this more and more with whether it's the comics, the games or even Predators, where they're trying to expand on like the Predator can look different. It's not all like, you know, just as people look different, like the Predator can look. There are variations to how they look. They are not uh, all just like copies, uniforms of what they were in the first one. Um, And this is just another notch in that way. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a really good one. I think that there's a lot of great design stuff here. The the bulletproof helmet. The the bulletproof helmet was such a surprise because like that dude was just charging him. And I'm like, how's this going to end? Oh, it ends with it being a ricochet bullet. (laughs) That's how. Yeah. (laughs) That that, that, like thing that he like that, that uh, snapper. A wristband? The snap bracelet that he's got that he can like. Take off the and like cut off people's legs. I he, love his uh big staff that just splits in half. Oh, and he's too. he's always like he's like spinning it and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, baby. His the the old school bomb that's like three mines that come mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Uh I love that. Uh I 
I also, I, I think I think maybe some of the best shots we've seen of the predator hopping tree to tree. Honestly, yeah, yeah. looks good. So many and like this movie, I like. I can't believe now that I've seen it, this movie wasn't in theaters. There's so many beautiful Vista shots, like mm -hmm. lo like wide open shots. Like half the time it felt like Lord of the Rings, which heard is walking with their dog. I and told, I'm like, man. I told Michael uh, like pretty early on in the film, like where it's doing the the like low buzz sound and we're focusing on uh, Nora while uh, her brother is being praised for killing the lion. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, uh, and I told Michael, I'm like, they're chasing that A24 vibe. Like with what they can do here, they're they're yeah, chasing yeah, yeah. it hard, um, and I, I think for the most part it's to their success. Yeah. What I think what I think is what I think is good about this is is we've talked about a lot how we want to see like this kind of period piece predator film. This is kind of the predator film we've been hungering mm -hmm. for for a while. Um, mm -hmm. And what I think worked really well about this film is the same thing that worked really well about uh, the first and honestly the second film. It's it it, it is a different movie. You're mm -hmm. watching an A twenty four movie about a comanche woman trying to prove herself and her tribe and then a predator shows up yeah right and like that's what works about this movie so well is because you it i know i know that the original plan was not to tell us that the predator was in this movie um and i i i lament that we never got that i don't think this film would have been nearly as successful uh yeah. right away Same. but i do lament the fact that like imagine if you were watching an a24 comanche movie a movie about a comanche woman and then a predator showed up I yeah. it's it's so sad that we will never I don't think we could ever again ever get a from dust till dawn moment where people mm -hmm. go in watching a gangster movie and it's a vampire movie. I don't think yeah. we are ever going to get that ever again, unfortunately. Yeah. Right. I agree. Um that's a, but it's it's a dream like one of uh one of my buddies um uh you know, it famously watched Predator the original on TV and did not see the first 5 minutes of the movie and therefore thought it was a Arnold in the jungle war movie and was yes. like, Oh, I've never heard of this one. And then all of a sudden there's a predator. <laughs> and <laughs> what a wild experience that must have been. Yeah. Um, but, but uh, truthfully, I think like this film does a really good job of easing you into like, I really love, we talked about the opening, but I really love the opening to the title, which is where mm -hmm. she's on the mountain. Oh. She looks up in the sky and you, you see the fire above the clouds of the ship, but you don't see the ship. Yeah, which yeah. I thought was such a good shot. Um, and it's just like prey. And I'm like, Oh, that is so good because she's just interpreting that as like something else. A bad yeah. omen. Uh, a yeah, thunderbird. Uh, like th that's incredible. That's such an incredible like ease into it. And then we do get the shot, but I also think it's really good of like we see the ship and the ship flies away and then the predator comes up from its crouch, but we're mostly getting it putting on its invisibility. So we still don't get a good look at it. And I thought that was just so good. Something yeah. we don't get enough anymore is um uh uh what geez what's it called sand uh uh sand pits what's it called when you fall into a pit and you uh, can't get out oh quick yeah sand. Quick, quick sand, sand. <laughs> we got a quick we got a quick swamp uh yeah. scene in here which was that's probably the scariest scene of the movie i know she's gonna survive but like when the predator gets in there and then he just stands up like it's nothing well, yes. legitimately legitimately i had i had a, a, a never-ending story flashbacks from oh, that. the swamp that's the exactly swamp. that's exactly looks like the swamp where we, where we lost the horse i i was nervous yeah, yeah. we'd lost the dog because the dog had been missing yeah. right before that moment and and like you could think that the dog had gotten swallowed up quickly that dog they work he helped and they circle back like such a smart hunting I'm dog i'm so glad that dog was not cgi same pretty much all the time yeah um mm -hmm. so good it looks so good uh my That's only like way. real knock on the film is uh, i just wish they had been given a bigger budget so the cgi of like the bear and stuff looked a little better yeah. um but i don't fault them for that like i still think it, it's it's totally watchable like i still yeah. have a great time it, it's uh doing man, it. the predator the predator versus the bear is some of the coolest fights and like we we don't even see half of that half of that fight because the predator is invisible but like you you hear the bam the Ooh, and he, the face. Her, he gets leo dicaprio that he that bear eats him up first too <laughs> right and like in the 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 beginning of it that Naru sees, I'm like, oh, it's just like some weird and half invisible fire elemental is fighting the bear. Yeah. And then and then just bleeding yeah. all over. God, metal. It looks so metal. Good. The final yep. fight between uh the, the predator and her brother. Uh her brother goes out like a champ, killing it. Love oh, it. Oh, when he when he hears it, he's like, Naru, you need to leave. I yeah, know yeah. this is this you is gotta the run. End. Yeah, yeah. I already know. Yeah. <laughs> this is the end uh, for me. Yeah. That was such a good that was such a good death scene. Um, and her turnaround on the Predator is also really good. Come on, and do it I now. Love the, 
I love the the going back to technology again, but like I've always really liked the the net, the predator net that like gets that like gets uh tighter and yes, this one is so baller. It's just it it keeps going until it goes back into the thing, just like destroys that log because it's uh, able to capture all around that that tree and it can crush it. It's so good, yeah. And that he does it after they put a net on him. He's like, you want to see a net? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um. God, it's so good. Um, it has maybe one of the most visceral, uh, just hard, hard to uh, uh versions of the prayer taking a head and a spine, which is the the wolf. That was yeah. so good. Uh, that the oh way that lay down shot is, and then like when you see it, and then it takes it all out. I'm like, oh my god. That was that's when I this movie. I was like, oh, this movie's the real deal. All right. I okay. I really love the um. I really love. So I want to talk a little bit about Naru. About Naru. Um, she. One of the things that, again, this movie does really well is what the first movie does really well, because I don't mean to bring up Twitter discourse. I apologize a little bit, but it is relevant to what I'm trying to say. People have forgotten that Schwarzenegger didn't beat the Predator by being technologically superior and stronger. He, mm-hmm. he beat it to be, by being smarter. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's how you beat the Predator. Everyone except for Donald Glover has outsmarted the, not Donald Glover, Danny Glover has outsmarted the Predator. Right. Um. And so, like, what this movie does really well is sh- because at the beginning we know everything we need to know about Naru. We know that she's a, a, a smart. She she hunts smart. We see that with the lion, right? We see that with the lions. Like, okay, if we keep hunting, if we keep going around that lion, we may never find the lion. But and if the, we wait here, and the brother tells her that later too, which I think yeah. is a great moment where he's like, "I I only beat the lion because of you, because yeah. of the tree." Mm-hmm. And so, like, we know that she's smarter. She's not she's not a capable physical hunter, but she's a smart hunter. And so that's and so so we know that this character is already smart enough. And so when we get to the point where she outsmarts the predator, that's how you that's how you beat the predator. That it's so true to the to the franchise. It's so true to all the characters that have come before. You beat the predator not by being physically superior, but by being mentally superior. And they do so much setup. Because like somebody like gets hurt or somebody gets like uh, attacked and then she has this herb that helps uh, 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 cool them off and like cool the blood and like thins the blood to make it cooler. And that's how they. So when she fell into the into the swamp pit, I thought that that's how she figured out the predator couldn't see her because she's covered in mud. But it's not that I thought that's just like a fun little thing. It's like this this flower that she always uses to help people out, which ends up being the savior of the thing and how when she when the predator walks up up to the guy and she just steps to the side is so good. Yeah. Um, I just, I, I just really like that, that this, that, that, that everything that we, we get, because again, going back to how, how smart she is, she can't, she can't hunt a rabbit. She's having a hard time hunting the rabbit because she's got to, she throws the ax. Oh, miss got to run up to the ax. The rabbit's already three yards away, but she's smart. So she thinks of the, the rope ax and, and like, that it, she's such a brilliant antagonist who is who is wonderfully written through protagonist protagonist sorry who is wonderfully written throughout um that i i i she she's endearing she she she's exactly the kind of i knew this watching the trailer i knew this watching the trailer she's exactly the kind of person that go that goes up against the predator and wins yeah absolutely yeah anyway uh she has uh, a line that i want to bring up though yeah oh. oh i actually i never take notes but i took one line um, not every smart creature can learn. And that's yeah. the predator in his entire life. He keeps getting beat by humans. <laughs> Love it. The line that I really liked is in the line where she's talking to the, the Frenchman and the Frenchman can't understand her. Um, and the and she has the thing where she's like, you know, everyone thinks I can't hunt and everyone blah blah blah. But she has this line, it's like, you can't see that you can't see that I'm killing you. Mm-hmm. Right. And it won't either. Uh-huh. And as the predator walks up, and I just think that is so good. That is a good line. Yeah, it's, uh, God, it's it's just such a well executed film for exactly the premise that it was it was doing. Um, I'm so glad Ooh. it was Amber Mid Thunder. I think she's yeah. so great in it. Yeah. I'm so glad that it's not the Comanche dub. Also works for me a lot, um, just because like it would have worked for me anyway. But like, I was I was the reason I wish the film had just been filmed in Comanche is because. The film is about so much environment storytelling more than dialogue that I'm like, you, you know, most audiences probably would have just gone for this. Yeah. If you just committed to that. 
Um, but I'm glad they at least did the dub track. It, it, I think that they did the smart thing of just relying on the environmental storytelling. To be fair, I think the original Predator does that as well. At a certain point, like it just becomes about environmental storytelling more than it is about dialogue. Yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah look, uh, I, 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 I do think this is the best Predator movie because I look at the first Predator, which I think is awesome. Um, and this movie does everything that movie does, but better and more modern and progressive. So I'm just like, I... I like this is like by de facto like when I think of Predator I'm gonna think of Prey man like yeah. when you think of the Predator as a concept this is executed as perfect as you could possibly be and it takes place and it's and it takes place in like in the 16 1700s it's like a secret genre movie like I I know it's not gonna happen but like I would be totally happy with every year and a half two years Samurai Predator movie Viking Predator movie Knights Predator movie like the mu it's it's so genius it's like Assassin's Creed like you could do this a hundred times and it would never get stale um right. but I know as long as you as long as you dedicate to the time period and the characters yeah just make the story and, good just drop Predator in and yeah, exactly that's the, that's the thing that if you want to make if you want to make a franchise of just prey movies, like you want to just you want to just like prey two, prey three, prey whatever, prey samurai pray, era, prey Camelot. But if you want to just do that, I think these films need to be defined by the fact if you're going to make more of these, they need to be defined by the fact that they are each a different movie that a predator is dropped into. Mm -hmm. yeah. And honestly, and honestly, I think the benefit of doing it more is um, you can get to ones where like they weren't good enough to outsmart the predator. Like, frankly, yeah. they just didn't, you know, like, uh, frankly, that should be the knights. Um, like <laughs> you just you you just have people who just aren't equipped and can't do it. And like, it's a good story. But like, tragically, they lose. And we can have that story where the predator sometimes wins. Absolutely. And yeah. you can have the times where like, oh, they, it ends in a it ends in a draw, which is probably the samurai story. Um, like, you know, like they probably should have kinds of things. There probably should be stories where the predators win because otherwise we're they keep coming back. Yeah. Right. And I mean, like, we've seen the predator, like, wow. what is the predator's concept of win? Because like you can have the self-destruct like the original predator, which I was yeah. glad wasn't here. Mm -hmm. Um, I did like the little like the bomb thing that it sets off with the wrists. Um I love the the fatter Frenchman just like do do it just backs away. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Yeah. Um I, I think that, you know, you can have those different kinds of scenarios where like, oh, the Predator could win this one. They could end in a draw this one. It can end with them winning over the Predator. Um, I mean, like to, to your point, Brandon, the Predator keeps coming back because if even if they lose, that's all the more reason to go back. Mm -hmm. the challenge you know to, to, to it's the challenge it's to prove that they can and like, overcome this it. is the, this is also kind of where, like where i'm sitting like this is where where prey honestly makes me more mad that the predator exists because the predator fundamentally tries to create this idea that, that the reason why the predators keep coming back to earth is because they're taking this final fluid and i i don't think that's a good story beat oh yeah 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 I, I don't think that's i don't think that's a good reason why they keep hunting and so like i going back to like basics of like prey goes back to like they're just here to hunt predator the they're just challenge. here to hunt yeah predator too just here to hunt like i really like that idea and if you uh, i would kill for a movie set on the ouch a home world i would yep. kill for alien versus predator 3 i would kill for any film franchise for any mo film that wants to expand the predator lore but the problem is the one movie we got that did that was the predator so yeah. i'm far more willing to have these types of movies than that type of movie so despite this being on on hulu uh, the word of mouth and the critical reception is massive, yeah. massive. People love this movie. Like I, I'm, we probably have to wait until after the weekend to see if there's any numbers for it. But like this movie is is a hit, like by by do all you, accounts. So like, do you know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I really hope so. Like I, I, I hope they see the success of this and want to. This is the direction they want to continue Predator, the Predator franchise, in because it makes sense. You should, if you're going to do anything with the Predator franchise, you should do more of this. And frankly. The path right here that is clear to me because of what Brandon just said about wanting to like get more expansion on the Predator lore, what you do is a bunch of Prey films that are period piece Prey films, right? And then uh, at some point, right, um, if you if they're all close, if you get a few that are close enough in the time period, you take a couple of your best ones that beat the Predator, they get abducted. You do Predators too, baby. Yeah. You do it on another alien planet. They took some of the best hunters who bit, beat their predators. They abducted them and they put them on Bro. another planet. Oh my god! Oh my god! B big head brain here. And like uh, uh, Naru is like, let's just say it's seventeen hundred, right? Yeah. You yeah. have a Japan story that's like sixteen ninety five. You yeah, have a yeah. you have like an England story that's in around the same time. They yeah, all yeah. it's like seventeen oh five. Everyone's a little older. Yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's too good. Yes. It's too good. Yes. 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 Because like because like 
the idea of like some of the ancillary material of predators was suggesting the idea that that the jungle hunter and the city hunter were were renegades. They were not supposed to hunt on Earth. You're supposed to take them off of Earth and put them on this game planet. Um, and that's the like that's why the alpha predators are punishing uh, a, a one of the jungle hunters in predators. Yeah. Right. Uh, but that's like never stated in the film. So you can have it. Cre- you can create it like the re- the reason why that game planet exists. Is because they took all the ones that beat the predators and put them on that planet and hunted yeah. them again. Mm-hmm. I, I, ooh, that's juicy, Sparks. Yeah, uh, <laughs> again, again, even though it is a streaming movie, like I feel so, so sh- positive about the future for of the Predator movies. Yeah, even if it's not Dan Trachtenberg, like if they just if they go with this model, they could they could have like a five film franchise easy and like yeah. Trachtenberg easy. Trachtenberg can direct whatever the hell he wants i'll be there he's directed two of the best he's directed the best films in two franchises quite frankly 10 cloverfield lane and prey true Um, true true, so like and honestly predator feels malleable enough that you have all the opportunity in the world to just yes and at any time every time oh uh if you if you watch the credits there is there is a sequel tease i want to i want to i want to talk about that yeah because there's two things at the end that i want to talk about but i do want to bring up uh the lion jump scare is quite good when the guy is talking about the lion and then the lion takes him i didn't expect the lion for real yeah that's good, very yeah. good i thought yeah. it was the predator yeah uh i was very like uh it was funny because uh, i was watching with michael and michael when the the lion shows up michael's like oh it's a female lion and i'm like well it's a mountain lion because we're in the americas and that's yeah. it took me a moment to be like why are they saying lion oh we have mountain lions that's why um uh, yeah. <laughs> i think that the, the way the film is shot is really pretty the one of my favorite one of the things that i've noticed that's really cool is when the torches are lit in the at night scenes, it's the light is only coming from the torches. Yep. But when they're not lit, the sky lights the lights the ground. Natural lighting. And I think that's really clever because quite because it almost makes it feel like the torches are hindering their their eyesight than just like it being than just without the torches. Yeah. Um uh I thought so, I just thought that was cool. Right. Real, real quick. I know we talked about the invisibility, but like, I really love that. Like, water, water messes with it. Any liquid, and it's like, oopsie, you can see it all right there. And I'm just like, man, th- it's it's always been shit, <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> I love the idea that the way Naru beats it is because she noticed that the 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 the, the projectiles would go wherever the light is. The Yondu. And I think that's a really cool. Um, that's a really cool idea of like. You know, again, it goes back to what Schwarzenegger learned. Like Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger got good at fighting this thing because it 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 studied it. It was like, oh, it sees infrared. Oh, it sees blah blah blah. Right, right. Very much in the same vein of like, oh, this is a weakness that I can exploit. Right. I just got to get that thing off of his head. Yes. Um, there's a Predator Two reference in this. Yes, there is. The gun. Yeah. I was so damn excited. When the guy turned over the gun, seventeen fifteen. I was like, oh, "Predator Two reference." Oh, Heavens. seventeen fifteen. Yeah, that gives us that gives us exactly when it takes place. Okay, cool, cool. Well, it's, well, in the beginning it says seventeen nineteen. Okay, there you go. Um, it's like Great Plains America, seventeen nineteen. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. Um, but like the the gun in Predator Two, the elder Predator of the ship just just tosses Danny Glover a gun and it says seventeen fifteen. And the idea of Predator Two is supposed to be like they've been doing this for hundreds of years. And so when I noticed the time period, I was wondering like, oh, would they reference that? And so I was very shocked that they ended up doing it. Man, imagine, um, imagine that's that is, I even if that like if we're making a sequel and it's about that guy, <laughs> I would yeah, right? I wouldn't be mad. Um, and so like the. The like the the when the Frenchman handed him the flintlock, handed Nara the flintlock. I was like, oh, it's could this be the same flintlock? Or we'll probably never get a a yes or no. And we got a definitive answer that is the same flintlock. Um, and then I was kind of like, oh, I wonder how the predator got that flintlock. Then and then the credits, the credit. Ben, did you watch the re- the whole credits? No, I did not. Once the credits okay. were over, I went to bed. I was tired. Fun, fun. So the credits are great. I love the credits. I think the credit design is really great. How it's going, going through the film again. Yeah, retelling the story. Yeah, yeah. And this Native American paintings. And after it does the title, you know, prey. It it goes back to the painting, and then the predator ship arrives. Like three predator ships three. come. Three predator ships oh. arrive. Yeah. Hinting at the fact that after Naru did this, they right back. after the ceremony, they came back. Hell oh. yeah, baby. And so, so that's kind of like, and you. We know from this franchise that that flintlock ended up in the hands of a predator. So Love it. that didn't so, end well. So even if there's not a sequel, that is a fun like we're making it connect everything together. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah I love it. Uh, the implications of like 
Um, not a lot of those people survived that that invasion. <laughs> it sucks. Um, but yeah, I I, I adored this movie. Because this is... got taken to the game planet with the Hell others. Yeah. Hell yeah. There you go. Uh, man, remember when we made our top 10 list, y'all? <laughs> what, what? This is such a good year for entertainment. It's oh my God. bananas. You can, you don't have to do, what if that Predator ship dropped a bunch of Predators around the world? And yeah. so you just uh-huh. make movies set in 1719. Yeah. Because th- this, <sighs> let's just say this is the first time, like, hey, we found the planet with people that we can actually. Here so we go. Just, like only one of those ships is for Naru. The other two are going somewhere else. England, oh, Japan. Are you sure it was three ships? Because like the predator, the predator ship has three like fins. It definitely on, like, looked, it definitely looked yeah, like it's three. three. It's ships. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, I either way that was that was having just watched Predator Two. It was it was it was my it was my Leo pointing at the screen moment. The only one that's in this movie. Yeah. Um. This. Yeah. Uh. Final thoughts for me. I this movie is better than I ever could have imagined. Like I had a good feeling going in, but like it gave me more predator than I expected. It gave me more action than I expected. It gave me more heart than I expected. Like I expected it to be good, but um, this, this movie, it's like, like we're going to make a predator movie. And they did 110% that in, in, in the best, best executed way possible. I love it. Sparks. Yeah. I couldn't be happier with it as uh, uh, for the way that it came out. Um, Ryan, what would you rate it? Oh, actually, I have this isn't even a negative, but it is something I noticed. Um, this is it's because I watched the Comanche dub. They say I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. And that's just something I don't think a Comanche would say in 1715. And then again, that doesn't ruin the script. It definitely was written in 2022 or whatever. But he says, I have to go to the bathroom. And I'm like, that was a weird sentence for a 17. Interesting. Comanche. He does in fact in the because in, I was watching the English version of with subtitles on. He says, I have to go take a squat. Yeah, that's, that's weird. That's a weird dub. OK, that's fine. Right. It, it's Which, not an actual it, it complaint. Just, it's just <laughs> translated weird in the subtitles. It's just like like, wow, that's a very modern phrase, my guy. OK, yeah. But uh, that's yeah. so funny that the English one is is regular. OK, cool. 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 Really I would really. give it. Man, I have I have no negative. Like I, 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 I give it a 10. Like, I love it. Like, I have no negatives. Like, I can't think of a negative thing except for the bathroom thing, which isn't a negative. Yeah. Sparks. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I think that they executed on the concept perfectly. I could not be happier with how this turned out. So glad they did it. I'd also give it a 10. Ben? I would give it a 9. Solid 9. Probably Hard 9. nine. Five. I'll definitely watch, I definitely want to watch this again, because when I was watching it, I just, I was still suffering from jet lag. I was still, there are parts of it, especially during the scene where she was talking to the Frenchman, where I was almost dozing off, but thankfully when the Predator showed up, I woke up again. I really don't, I don't have any negatives to say. All I hope now is that we get more Predator films in period pieces, just like this. I hope I want one in England or in the Middle Ages, or, or maybe not in the Middle Ages, but around that time period. I want one in Japan, obviously. I just want more Predator films set in the past. That's all I want. Yeah. I want a lot more Predator movies. I don't want just prequels. I want sequels. I want I want the good version of the Predator. I want what we were teased with Alien vs. Predator 3. I want Stargazer. Those, I want those movies. I want to see, I want to go to the Eucha home world. I don't think it's it's probably not possible to do it as a film. And I'll concede that for the rest of my life, but it won't deny how much I love the Yaucha. I love the Predator franchise. There's so much potential that we can see from it. And this is a really incredible encapsulation of why the Yaucha, why the Predator have such uh, an incredible potential. 10 out of 10. I, I think with, with Disney being the ones who are making this and not something like Warner Brothers, um, like I, I, I definitely like we're getting comics soon too. I fully expect to, I, I don't know about the home world movie thing. Like as much as I want that, that might be too much, but I guarantee you the comics are going to go so hard into that shit, man. We're going to learn, we're going to learn so much about the Ayucha more than we're going to, we can even stand. I bet. I'm very excited. The, the Predator comic comes out in two months. I'm so excited. I'm, Hell yeah. I'm certain that as shitty as Bob Chapek is, and as much as he probably didn't care about how Prey was going to do one way or another, um, it's popularity. He's gone. Oh, mm-hmm. what's this here? What can we do? We're getting that Noah Hawley alien show soon. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully he takes a good lesson from this. Me too. Yeah, I hope so. Hell okay. Yeah. yeah, man, this movie. The movie. I watched this twice in twenty-four hours. I'm not Hell yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure Bob Chapek saw like how the Predator did, heard this idea of Prey, and went, 
yeah, all right. I mean, like, you know, we'll release it because it's it was in production and all that, and that's fine. And, and it's lower budget. Do something. And he's like, and he's like, maybe it will do well. Who knows? We'll see. Um, and now is looking at it and going, okay. You know what, what they didn't here? do? You know what they didn't do? They didn't cancel it before it came out. Yeah, it's true. God. Okay, well, that'll do it, guys. That's the show.